Praise the Lord, everyone. My name is Mario. I am an apostolic Pentecostal. And if you're visiting my channel for the first time, welcome. I've missed you. Even though we haven't personally met, I still want to know what your name is. And your name is... Hey, nice to meet you. Sing like a cool cat. Well, hey, because you have navigated your way to my channel, you have come just in time for the Daily Mop, which makes you a mop head. Now, what's a mop head, you ask? Well, with like any good old mop, you take it and you start using it to clean those dirty floors to get clean floors. And so with the Daily Mop, you're going to be hearing messages of power, messages of praise, messages of prayer to clean up with what you got going on up here with the Word of God. But with no further ado, let's get into today's first message of praise titled, Serving a Possible God. Roll the clip. <laughs> Woo, let's go, baby! Mark 10, 27 tells us, And Jesus, looking upon them, said, With men it is impossible, but not with God, because with God all things are possible. Whew, I don't think you're all ready for today's message of praise, but I'm just going to start into it. I'm just going to let the Spirit take over. with David, the smallest shepherd boy, chosen, okay, who had no experience whatsoever fighting. When he was up against the greatest Philistine warrior of all time, Goliath, and it was just him and a few stones. See, it was impossible for David to defeat Goliath. He had no skills. He had no experience. It was impossible for him. But with God, <laughs> with God, it was possible to defeat the greatest Philistine warrior in all the lands for him to go back to the king and show I have defeated Goliath because God was on my side. If God is for us, who can be against us? When it was just Gideon and the 32,000 men that he had that were going to face the 135,000 strong army of Israel. See, it was impossible for that group of men to defeat that many men. But what's even even more impossible is when God started saying, Gideon, you have too many men. I need less men. So he takes out 10,000 men. So there's only 22,000. He takes out another 12,000. And Gideon says, surely these are enough men to defeat this army. And God says, uh-uh-uh. I won't accept that. I want less men. And then it was just Gideon and 300 men against 135,000 experienced, strong army of Israel. And see, with those numbers, with those soldiers, it was impossible for them to defeat an army that size. But with God, whoo, it was very possible. And that's exactly what they did. And when Jesus died on the cross and all of the priests in Jerusalem were laughing because they thought they defeated this blasphemer and Satan was sitting there ruling over this world thinking, ha ha, I have defeated God. Whoo. Little did they know that Jesus did claim he would come back. So again, they thought it was impossible for this man to raise back up from the grave because who in history has ever raised back up from the grave? The priest said it wasn't possible. The Roman soldiers said it was impossible. Even the disciples had their doubts and thought it was impossible. And surely Satan said, I have defeated God. I am now God. And in surely I saw him die with my own eyes on the cross and that it was impossible for him to raise up. But what did everyone forget? That with God, all things are possible. And he raised back up three days later and he was ready to start his mission to work through the disciples and every priest and minister after that to spread the gospel. And what is the moral of this story? What's the moral of this message of praise? That if you, sit there and you want all the impossible things to be done in your life and you, you keep 
keep looking towards men, it will continue to be an impossible thing. But if you start taking your focus off men and looking at it towards God, everything will become possible. The impossible will become the possible. And with this channel, it's going to be impossible for me and a, and a handful of apostolics to share the message every day. But with God, it will be possible with the anointing on him and the anointing over my camera and my microphone and my computer and my YouTube channel and everywhere in this house with the anointing, it will be possible to this for this channel to grow to new heights that I can't even imagine because with God, all things are possible. Wow, man. Mm. What an anointing I feel right now. Just oh, unbelievable. But before you leave, I just want you to do four things for me. If you thought this video brought value to you, give it a like. Two, leave a comment below. Tell me what is the impossible in your life and I'll show you a God that can make it possible. Three, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. And four, don't forget to hit that bell notification so you know when I upload the next video. Um, thank you all for watching. My name is Brother Mario. God bless you.